everybody, welcome to Meta Cafe Unfiltered. This is episode two, even less filters than the last episode. We got rid of them. And I'm Matt Zoller, I'm your host, and I'm unfiltered as well. This week we're talking about the man with the iron fists. And I sat down with Lucy Liu and the RZA to talk about the film. And unfortunately, my interview with Russell Crowe didn't, didn't go so well and we, we can't use that footage. Let's watch my Lucy Liu interview. We mostly talk about how tight my shirt is. My blood sugar is low because I haven't eaten anything. There's tons of food out there. Yeah, I should eat some. I'm just, I, I was trying to fit into this shirt. You fit in it? Well, I feel like it's kind of... <laughs> is it too tight? Uh, it is, it's suffocating. Anyway, uh, I love this film. I, I mean, I love doing action movies. They're really fun. They, yeah. I think it's mainly just the crowd getting into it and it's, you know, it's nice to be a part of something and have people believe that you can actually, you know, be in a fight scene and, and actually, you know, do some damage. Yeah, when I was telling people I was interviewing you today, it was like, she could definitely take you. <laughs> well, in that shirt, probably, because you'd be more confined. <laughs> and that's why a lot of martial artists wear loose clothing. Loose clothing, yeah. You got it. They know in advance, like, they don't want to rip their shirts. Yeah, because my, my reach is like, Severely is it limited? limited you need some gussets. That's the secret of um, costumes for fighting. Ooh, insider. Gussets. What is a gusset? I don't know what that is. It's just an addendum to your shirt, okay. and it sort of adds, you know, so it's like elastic oh. on the bottom, so you can move without actually ripping your shirt. I need that for my... Or your pants, for that matter. For my underwear. Your underwear? No. Maybe your, yeah. Probably Hopefully don't. your underwear are not as confining as your shirt is. It's laundry day. It's laundry it's all... day. It's Sunday. Growing up, listening to a lot of hip-hop, I thought um, that Andre 3000 song from Outkast, yeah. where you're mentioned, and, and Hey Ya, because hey. I told my Beyonce's and Lucy Lou's. There's more more than one of me. Did you ever hear that song? I did, yes. It's, it's fun to be a part of something like that. It's sort of zeitgeisty. You know you've really arrived when your name gets mentioned in rap songs. That's it. Yeah. I could have just retired right there. Remember Michael Winslow's hilarious kung fu character from the old Police Academy movies? Well, I used to try to mimic that character whenever I got in fights with my brother, and it never really helped me win those fights. But uh, let's watch a clip of him as it sets up the next interview. He thinks he's Bruce Lee. You want to bet? Daniel! Want to fight, huh? Fight me! Yeah! Now you just saw the master. Michael Winslow was the best 70s, poorly overdubbed kung fu movie audio guy. And uh, the Riz and I totally botched our attempt to pay homage to him. Oh, I just broke the chair. Tell me about your inspiration for this script? The inspiration was to make a movie that was entertaining to the whole world. Very good. I thoroughly liked it and thought it was very exciting. Lots of action. If you only knew what we were trying to do, you would know that this is a Kung Fu masterpiece. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I probably could have practiced that bit a little bit more, but I didn't. You should try it for yourself. It's actually really hard to do. Here's the rest of my interview with the RZA. He wrote and produced most of the Wu-Tang catalog. He now wrote, directed, and stars in The Man with the Iron Fists. I bet he practiced a lot. I really love the film. I thought you, uh, thank you nailed it. I went into it thinking like, how is this gonna be? <laughs> Is this going to be, in, uh, it was funny when it needed to be funny, it was exciting when it needed to be exciting, so good job. Oh, thank you, man, I appreciate it. Growing up in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. uh, I listened to Wu-Tang a lot, listened to a lot of your music, and you actually kind of introduced me to kung fu movies huh. as, a, as a kid through Wu-Tang, right. which is kind of a bizarre, uh, a, a bizarre thing, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, uh, this girl told me she lost her virginity to Wu-Tang, I was like... <laughs> I could imagine what kind of guy that was. <laughs> yeah, like, and what song specifically was he listening to? Brain the Ruckus. Okay. <laughs> nice. But anyway, 
Um, no, I really, I'm proud of this film, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You know, we used to do this in, in Manhattan, New York, when back on 42nd Street, we would watch Kung Fu movies come out and get on the train, heading home, man. doing Kung Fu on the train. And the people who, you know, who just came from uptown, not knowing right. where we came from, <laughs> be looking at us like we was crazy. It's beautiful to see yeah. the imagination and aspiration of a kid come to life. And the man with the iron fist is exactly that. Thanks for watching Medicafe Unfiltered. We'll see you at the next episode. If the doctors are right, it'll feature 75% less black eye.